What if quantum computing isn't some sci-fi concept decades away, but something that companies are already paying for right now? What if one company has been selling commercial quantum computers for years while most competitors are still stuck in the lab? And what if the real risk here isn't whether quantum works, but whether D-Wave can survive long enough to scale before the market catches up? Well, today, I'm breaking down D-Wave Quantum, what the company actually does, why some investors see some massive upside, and why others think this could end really badly. Now, if you're new to the channel, hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999, and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That is a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. D-Wave Quantum is based in Canada and the United States and has been around for over two decades. Most people think quantum computing is some far-off technology that won't matter for years, but D-Wave has actually been selling commercial quantum computers, well, for a very long time. That's right. The company builds quantum computers designed for optimization problems. Regular computers check options one by one. D-Wave's quantum computers use quantum mechanics to evaluate many possibilities at the same time. That's why they can be exponentially faster for certain types of problems. Today, D-Wave's primary customers are large enterprises across logistics, pharmaceuticals, finance, and even artificial intelligence. These are organizations where even tiny improvements can save millions of dollars. Think about something like FedEx optimizing delivery routes. That's exactly the type of problem where D-Wave's technology can deliver some real value. Back in 2011, D-Wave sold the world's first commercial quantum computer to Lockheed Martin for $10 million. Since then, the company has continued to build out its customer base. But it's still not profitable yet, and that's important to understand right up front. Now, more recently, D-Wave is bringing its tech to the CES foundry stage in early January. For those in the loop, CES is the Consumer Electronics Show, and it's one of the largest and most influential tech events in the world, and it draws a lot of eyes. I've been there myself, and it is a very exciting conference. D-Wave is set up or is set to demo its tech and products to entrepreneurs, investors, government leaders, and the media. And that includes practical applications of quantum computing across industries like logistics, manufacturing, material science, and telecommunications. Not only that, the company is going to bring in real-world use cases that'll show what other companies stand to gain by adopting quantum technology right now. But of course, hype is just one part of the equation. D-Wave needs to demonstrate that it can sustain its business through rock-solid fundamentals and positive financial performance. Now, let's cover the bull case for D-Wave and see why investors see this as a major tech opportunity. This is something we talk about a lot in my Discord group. D-Wave is currently the only company that's building both annealing and gate model quantum computers that is actually generating revenue today. Competitors like IBM, Google, and IonQ are still largely in the research phase. D-Wave has moved beyond the lab and into real-world applications. And today, the company delivers value through its Advantage quantum computer, as well as its Leap Cloud platform. So customers don't have to wait years to see any benefits. Let me give you an example. Italy is developing D-Wave systems to optimize multiple sectors under a $10 million contract with Swiss Quantum Technology SA. When a government commits eight figures to a technology, that says a lot about perceived value. D-Wave is also expanding its customer base across automotive, aerospace, pharmaceuticals, and logistics. The company 
now has more than 100 revenue-generating customers. With gross margins above 70%, every dollar of revenue generates roughly 70 cents in gross profit. If D-Wave grows from dozens of customers to hundreds over the next five years, revenue could scale from around 15 million annually to hundreds of millions. And at that level, the roughly 30 million in quarterly expenses becomes far more manageable, doesn't it? Profitability and meaningful free cash flow could arrive sooner than many expect. And timing also matters here. Artificial intelligence has created massive demand for computing power, and many of the optimization problems that power AI systems today are exactly what quantum computers are designed to solve. Now, let's talk about the biggest risk, and that's D-Wave runs out of money before quantum computing reaches mass adoption. The company is currently burning about $20 million per quarter while generating just $3.7 million in revenue, even with $836 million in cash that only provides roughly 10 quarters of runway. Quantum adoption could remain slow for several reasons, right? Classical computers continue to improve rapidly. If new AI algorithms can solve optimization problems at lower cost, companies may still avoid taking the risk on quantum solutions. And then there's also the possibility that real-world quantum use cases are narrower than the hype suggests. If D-Wave's technology only applies to a limited set of problems, well, that market size shrinks. Personally, I find the math also a bit concerning. If revenue stalls at, let's say, 20 to 30 million per quarter, D-Wave may never reach the scale required to cover its $30 million quarterly expense base. And at that point, the company would just face some tough choices. It could raise capital on unfavorable terms, cut back on research, or sell itself to a larger tech firm at a steep discount. Now, let's talk about the stock, right? D-Wave currently trades around $28 a share. The stock is up 193% over the last 52 weeks. However, the company is still unprofitable, which limits traditional valuation metrics. Its price-to-sales ratio is nearly 200 times, which is extremely high. That tells me that investors are paying a massive premium today in anticipation of explosive growth down the line. So with that, is D-Wave a buy today? Well, consider that according to 15 analysts, the stock is rated a strong buy with an average score of 4.8 out of 5. And that score has remained fairly stable over the last three months. The high target price is $48 a share, and that suggests as much as 70% upside from current levels. For high-risk investors with a five-year or longer time horizon, I think D-Wave could be a compelling bet on the future of quantum computing. But the keyword here is bet, and you have to be comfortable with the possibility of large losses if execution falters. If 20 to 30% swings make you panic, this stock probably isn't for you. So that's my take on D-Wave. But what about you? Do you believe in what D-Wave is building? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps others find the video, it supports the channel, and it makes sure that you don't miss out on my next deep dive. Well, that's it for me today. I wanted to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.